What's good, Scorp, Scorp, this is Scorpio on the tower. Welcome to the channel. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button, Scorp, if y'all like the energy, if y'all dig the content, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, if y'all care to leave a donation, I will have a link in the script, uh, description box below, excuse me. I will have a link in the description box below, damn it, all right? <clears throat> if y'all want to send me a donation, Scorp, if y'all care to help me out. Uh, this will be current feelings, or current feelings check, okay? What do we have for Scorpio's person's current feelings? What do we have for Scorpio person's current feelings? How do they feel about Scorpio? How are they feeling internally about Scorpio? Mentally, emotionally, internally? How are they feeling about Scorpio? How are they feeling? How is this individual feeling about Scorpio? What is their current feelings? And their energy? Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, energetically? How do they feel about Scorpio? I'm picking up a love vibration, Scorpio. Somebody's in love with you. I don't know who it is. I'm really not sure who it is, but I'm picking up somebody that really, really, really loves you. Somebody that really loves you. This is coming on strong, Scorpio. Before I even pull the cards, I'm picking up a very intuitive. Somebody loves you very, very, very intensely to the next level of extreme intensity. All right, this is the last shuffle. How does this person feel mentally, energetically, psychologically? Well, same thing. Psychologically, mentally, same thing. Spiritually, emotionally. How about Scorpio, how do they feel? What are their true feelings and emotions for Scorpio? Page of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this past energy. I'm just going to be real with y'all. This could be somebody from the past. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. What I'm getting here, Scorpio, is somebody is very confused. Okay? Somebody does want to come out the cold with you, Scorpio, with the Five of Coins in reverse. They do want to come out the cold with you, but they're very confused on how to approach the situation. There's a lot of confusion here, Scorpio. Okay? Okay? Maybe this individual feels like you have somebody else or you have something else going on in your life that you're really not paying attention to them, Scott. But they're definitely paying attention to you with the five of coins in reverse. They want to come out the cold. They just don't know how to approach the situation. They feel like you're a very stable person, Scorpio, with the king of coins. They also feel like they want something stable with you. But they don't know how to approach it. I'm going to have to clarify that, okay? Yeah. After the read, after I pull the 10 card spread, somebody just mainly feels like they don't know how to approach the situation, but they do want to come out the cold with you. They want to make things better, Scorpio. They want something stable. They want to make things better. Maybe there was a struggle when it came to financial stability with this connection. And it's like they're caught between a rock and a hard place, and they don't know how to bring things back to that stabilized type of connection is what I'm picking up on. All right. Nine of Wands. Yeah, this individual is very, very worn out, Scorpio. They're very worn out. Emotionally, they're emotionally tired. It's like they keep trying to fight this inner turmoil. They keep on trying to fight this inner turmoil to make a decision. Maybe this individual lacks some confidence, Scorpio, even though they're, they're fighting. They're fighting everything in their power, doing everything in their power internally. But they feel like whatever they do, it's like, how do I make this decision? Like, how do I go about stabilizing this connection? It's all about a decision on stabilizing the connection. How do they make things better? The Magician in Reverse. Okay, so that could stand for uh, manifestation not working. They feel like whatever they're doing, Scorpio, is not working to stabilize the connection. If this is, this could also represent dark magic, Scorpio. Maybe the, the, this individual is feeling like it's burning them down, Scorpio. Like, if they're trying to do things like that because the magician in reverse does represent the dark energy. Okay? Or they could simply feel like their manifestation it's not working, but if they're using magic or a manifestation for manipulation, trying to control things, it no longer becomes manifestation. It's manipulation, and this could be wearing this individual down. 
It could be running them down. It could be uh, emotionally draining them. It could be internally draining them. It could be taking a toll on their confidence, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. Maybe this is an individual that, that tried that type of energy, Scorpio, to bring you both back together with the Two of Wands right here. Maybe this is an individual that tried this type of uh, energy to bring you both back together, but what they fail to realize is that's manipulation. It's not manifestation. It no longer is manifestation when you're trying to manipulate forces to their advantage or to control. If you have to try to control something, it's no longer uh, manifestation. Manifestation is detachment. You set your intentions and completely detach from it. But when you're trying to manipulate something, you're all the way emotionally invested, believe it or not. You're putting your all into it. You're putting your belief into it. You're becoming too attached. And this is exactly what's making this individual feel way down, Scorpio, burden with the nine of wands. They're just tired. But I also get the sense that this individual right here, Scorpio, is leaving them between a rock and a hard place on why things ain't working. If they're trying this, it's not going to work. It's going to fail 100,000% of the time. Especially if you're messing with a strong spiritual being. Just like I said, if you're trying to manifest something, if you're trying to manifest something, that is genuine intentions. But when you try to manipulate situations to control, that's when it becomes toxic. That's toxicity with the magician in reverse. But they feel like they want to stabilize things. But they may not feel like they're in their power either, Scorpio. That could be another uh, reason, scenario. They may, not, they may not feel like they have the right tools to stabilize this connection. With a magician in reverse. It's all about not being experienced enough to stabilize it. The moon in reverse, okay. That was right after that magician in reverse, okay, Scorpio. This could be with a Gemini. With the magician in reverse. This could be with a Cancer, two major arcanas here. Somebody does, Scorpio. It's like something is backfiring, man. There's a lot of backfiring energy because you got. If you had the moon upright, then that would be valid. But you got it in reverse. So whatever they're trying to do is just weighing them down more. It, and it's it's almost like it's creating a lot of caught between a rock and a hard place. They don't know how to stabilize things. And it's literally backfiring to them, Scorpio, to where what I'm picking up on energetically from these cards right here, from the Magician and the Five of Pentacles, what I'm picking up here is the manifestation or mani the, what a manipulation that they're trying to do. This is a form of magic. That's what I'm picking up on. It's nothing to fear. But it's backfiring on their reality. What's happening is it's causing this individual to invest in you, but they don't know how because of what they've been doing. It's literally pulling them your direction and making them feel drained. It's draining them. There's backfiring energy here. Somebody feels like they made a big mistake, Scorpio, right here. Somebody feels like they made a big mistake. This is also somebody that you're not talking to. You could have somebody blocked, Scorpio. They could have you blocked. There's no communication going on here. But I get the sense that somebody does want to come out this type of energy. But there's something that is that is a backfiring type of mechanism here. There's a backfiring mechanism. Because they're feeling emotionally drained and weighed down. They don't know how to stabilize things. They don't know how to stabilize things. They're caught between a rock and a hard place. How do I stabilize this connection? And I'm getting there's a lot of reversed energy here. This is a lot of reversals. The magician in reverse and the moon in reverse. That's actually positive energy for your reality. But they simply feel like something is backfiring. It keeps pulling them your direction, Scorpio, while it's pushing. It's a different mechanism. It's pushing you away while pulling them closer. And the reason why I sense that is because the five of coins in reverse. That's all about wanting to come out the cold but don't know how. To stabilize things. To where things won't be much of a burden, but they're burdening. This type of energy is burdening themselves, Scorpio. They're, they're becoming mentally drained. They're becoming drained. They're tired of fighting. I'm getting manipulation energy. Maybe somebody was trying to manipulate the energy, Scorpio, to get you back together. But all it's doing is causing a reverse effect. 
reversed effect. That's what I mean. Reversed effect. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords in reverse. I don't know why I can't talk right. Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody just, they have a lot of mental, like a lot of mental, mental things going on with them. Scorpio, mentally unstable. Knight of Wands. I do see that they do want to take action with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, with the Eight of Wands upright. They do want to come in and take action, Scorpio. I see them contemplating how can they talk to you. How can they get things back stabilized? But they're going through a lot of mental conflict right now with the Queen of Swords and Reverse Scorpio. They could just be mentally wrecked over right now, not knowing how to do it. But they could also be feeling bitter because whatever they're doing is not working and it's reversing on them. And they're feeling bitter because they feel a certain draw to you. But that's all about the reversals of magic. Like if you try to manipulate things to your advantage and you're trying to control people, especially when it comes to a Scorpio, if you're trying to do this, what, what will happen is it, it's going to be like a, like a shift. It's going to shift everything that they're trying to manifest is backfiring and literally draining them. But their true emotions for you, Scorpio, and true feelings for you is they still feel you on a sexual level. They're still sexually attracted to you. There's still passion there. There's a lot of passion there, and I see that they do want to communicate. More than likely, Scorpio, you will be receiving communication from the individual. Okay? Somebody that you're separated from with the five of coins in reverse. But they feel very bitter. They feel very bitter and mentally just mentally chaotic. I'm getting a lot of mental chaotic energy because this right here, the two of wands caught between a rock and a hard place. Like, it's like in their head, it just completely stopped. Like things are going on like a whirlwind in their head. And it's a lot of conflicting energy, but whatever's going on in their head is leaving them very tired. Very tired. Maybe they try to put their all into get this and it's not working and it's draining them. It's depleting them of their energy. And it could be sitting here wondering, Scorpio, how do I stabilize things with the King of Coins on the top of this Four of Cups? How do I stabilize this connection? You can't stabilize a connection by being in a dark energy like this. You can't be bringing dark energy to stabilize a connection. It will no longer stabilize anything. It will leave you very unstable. It's just a, 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 a reversed effect is what happened in here. With the moon in reverse and the magician in reverse. It's a reversed effect. It's a reversal that's happening. And it's certainly making this individual want to come out the cold. They're just not quite sure how to do it, Scorpio. It's like somebody has lost the control. Somebody's losing control of themselves. They're not in control of their, their mental state, Scorpio. They're not thinking clearly. But there's a part of them that is. With the four of cups right here, there's a part of them that is. They're thinking about you very emotionally too. They're thinking about you very emotionally. But there's also some bitterness here that they could be angry. They could be very frustrated that whatever they're doing is not, just, it's not simply working. That's not working. You have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you have Gemini, Magician. You also have Cancer with the Moon in reverse. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, you have a lot of Gemini here with the Swords. Um, cups again. Yeah, Fire signs. Could be with a Fire sign. Sagittarius. I got I'm getting Sagittarius vibes for some of y'all. Could be a Sagittarius out there. Yeah, it could simply be a Sagittarius. Yeah, this is backfiring, Scorpio, because you got the moon in reverse with the five of coins in reverse. So if they tried anything, Scorpio, like maybe this was once a secret, but it has surfaced, like something was figured out, something has been found out. Or maybe somebody is starting to have an epiphany moment. I don't have the tower here, but this could slowly be an epiphany moment, as I say. 
what I'm doing is like like somebody reflecting. Somebody reflecting because the water is reflecting back that moon. See what I'm saying? That that moon that's reflecting on the water is reflecting back to that moon and bouncing back to this individual's face. Because she's looking at, like, you can see, she's not really looking, well, she could be looking at the moon. But it's in reverse. It's like, this is reflecting back to the moon to reflect back to their face. It's like their face with whatever they was trying to do, and this is what's happening. There's a lot of something being in somebody's face. It's reversed. It's a reversed effect. Things are not supposed to go this way. Things are not supposed to be this way. But this is how it's happening. Because it's bringing somebody awareness. Emotional awareness. By that moon being right directly in front of that individual's face right here. Somebody is very... They, they know, Scorpio, they feel like you're very on guard. They feel like you're very on guard. But they do want to come in and they do want to talk to you. They do want to communicate. They do want to open up the lines of communication right here with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, the Page of Wands is in reverse, Scorpio. You got the Chariot in reverse. So this individual cannot move on from you. And whatever they was doing, Scorpio, it could be literally keeping them stuck. There's a lot of stuck energy here. It could be keeping them stuck. They're definitely stuck. They're, they're thinking about you. They're always wondering about you. Wondering how to make things better. I get the sense that they do want to talk to you. They definitely want to talk. Some of you could be receiving communication right now. They do want to talk, Scorpio. They're thinking about it very deeply. Why does this individual want to talk to Scorpio? Let's ask you that. Why does this individual want to uh, talk to Scorpio? Why do they want to talk to Scorpio? What's their intentions behind talking to Scorpio? The four coins in reverse. So maybe this individual wants to talk to you, Scorpio, to stop keeping secrets from you. To stop holding back. But I also get the sense that... So maybe some of you let them go, Scorpio, with the four coins right here. But I get the sense that they want to talk to you. So why is the four coins in reverse? Why is the four coins in reverse for why they want to talk to Scorpio? The eight of coins in reverse. Okay, so this individual could be struggling with money, Scorpio. They could be struggling with money. They could be jobless right now and, and literally penny pinching. Maybe this individual wants to work with you, Scorpio. Yeah, you got the page of swords right here. Why do you have the four coins in reverse with the eight of coins in reverse? Yeah, with the Queen of Cups in reverse. This individual is very emotionally unstable, Scorpio. Very emotionally unstable. They, they want to talk to you because they're struggling with work. They're very insecure, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. They're very emotionally unstable with the Queen of Cups in reverse. They're just struggling when it comes to their work life, their financial stability. I get the sense that this individual wants to work with you. Like they have no resources. This individual has no resources. This individual is losing income. Why are they losing income? Why is this individual struggling financially and losing income? Why are they emotionally imbalanced? Six of coins in reverse because they was treating you unfairly, Scorpio. 
with the six of coins in reverse. This individual could also have been taking some form of money, Scorpio, but I don't want to wrap it back around to this read right here, but if you put both of these energies together right here with this Queen of Cups in reverse, with the Magician in reverse and the Moon in reverse, and the Five of Coins in reverse, this magic has backfired to this individual's reality, Scorpio, and they feel very weighed down because they're losing their finances. They're losing it. Yeah, because you got the moon and it's, it's matching up with this energy right here, Scorpio. If somebody was doing something to interfere with your finances, it's backfiring. You're coming out of this energy like this right here. This is all about not being poor, Scorpio. This is all about struggling, but this is in reverse. So this right here, Scorpio, they feel like you're very stable and something is backfiring. And this is what they want to talk to you about. Yeah, somebody's magic has backfired. It's leaving somebody very emotionally unstable. Very mentally unstable. When you got the magician in reverse with the moon in reverse, this is all about backfiring energy. Reflecting back on that moon to bounce back to somebody. Something has definitely been reversed. Something has been reversed. And now they feel like shit for that. Like, like somebody literally feels wrecked over with the nine of wands right here. Uh, you, you got Capricorn here. You got Virgo Taurus Capricorn. You got a lot of earth in it. Yeah, a lot of earth energy here. Could be somebody with a Taurus moon Scorpio. Could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the Queen of Cups. But this individual feels very, very, very emotionally unstable. Very unstable emotionally. And they, they want to talk to you about the eight of coins and the four of coins in reverse with the six of coins in reverse. They want to talk to you about what was really going on, but they don't know how to do it. They don't want nothing new with the Ace of Cups in reverse. S somebody could be, somebody could have been doing, uh, this is moon rituals. Somebody could have been doing moon rituals on your finances, Scorpio, and it backfired with the Five of Coins in reverse. And now they want to talk to you about this. This is what they want to talk to you about. This right here. Why would this individual want to talk to Scorpio after doing this to Scorpio? Why would they want to talk to them after doing that? That's exactly what that is. Why would they want to talk to Scorpio after that? Three of Wands with the Emperor in reverse. This could be an Aries. Yeah, you got strong Aries energy here. Why is the Emperor in reverse with the Three of Wands upright? What's the message of that? King of Wands in reverse. They don't have the confidence to approach you. They don't have the confidence to approach you, Scorpio. It's all about not being confident with the Emperor in reverse. They're waiting, Scorpio. Like, like they're, they're waiting to make their move because they don't have that assertive nature or confidence to approach you because what they want to talk to you about is something that they did that was that was really fucked up. Really wrong with the moon in reverse. This shit reversed back on their reality. They could be being treated unfairly or missing out on a job and struggling with their finances. With the four of coins in reverse, eight of coins in reverse, somebody could have lost their job. And it could be being treated unfairly. But if that's what they was trying to do to you, it's backfiring. It backfired. Now somebody's thinking about it. Somebody's definitely thinking about it. They want to rush in and communicate too. They can't move on with the Six of Swords in reverse, Scorpio. They know that trouble is coming. This is all about trouble coming. And I get that this is the trouble. Four coins in reverse with the eight of coins in reverse and the six of coins in reverse. That's trouble. Trouble with finances, financial stability. 
they're not stable, Scott. But the Queen of Cups in reverse, they're not stable. They're emotionally all over the place. And this could be why they're not talking to you because they don't know how to approach the situation. And now something is boomeranging and they want to talk to you and tell you what's been going on. Maybe to reveal something. How does this individual feel about Scorpio? Six of Cups in reverse. They feel like you no longer see them the same way with the Six of Cups in reverse. They see you very detached from them, Scorpio, with the Devil in reverse. Yeah, you got the Devil in reverse, the Magician in reverse, and the Moon in reverse. Yeah, this individual, whatever they was doing, Scorpio, has straight up backfired to their reality. Big time. There's a backfire type of energy here. Everything that they were trying to do was something financially. Everything they try to do, Scorpio, has backfired. They feel like you're stable. Very confused about it. Like, they're very confused. They're very mentally conflicted about it. And it's leaving them drained. Very drained. But they simply feel like you don't see them the same way. Scott, this is also about this is also about returning. They feel like they want to return. And to leave this shit behind with the devil in reverse, Scorpio. For some of y'all could be with a Capricorn. For some of y'all out there. But they just feel like you don't see them the same way, Scott, with the Six of Cups in reverse. This is all about good memories. This is all about perceiving somebody good in your mind. When it's in reverse, it's all about perceiving somebody as negative. They feel like you just don't see them the same way. I guess so, bro. If somebody tried to do this right here with the Magician in reverse, the Moon in reverse, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's all about trying to damage somebody's finances. A secret. Secret manipulation energy that try to damage somebody's finances. This is what they want to talk to you about. And they could be silently watching while not talking to you and trying to figure out how they tell you about this card. But they're very emotionally unstable at the same time with the Queen of Cups in reverse. It has literally backfired. Something has backfired. Or it will be backfiring. Something's going to be backfiring. This is a fair warning. This is a fair warning. Something will be backfiring. The moon is in reverse. The magician in reverse. And the devil in reverse. Hey. This is going to leave somebody being very, very stable. While somebody is going to be in this energy. This is a warning from the spirit realm. Somebody can't be touched by this devilish energy right here, Scott. Whoever this is, it's a warning. Somebody's not going to be poor. They're not going to be struggling. This is all about struggling. This is all about in reverse. Exactly with the king of coins right here, Scorpio. Somebody's going to be very stable. And somebody's going to be... I don't like saying that and speaking it to just a Scorpio, but somebody, I'm going to just say it, somebody could end up struggling. I see it coming or it's happening now. It's from this right here. I sent it. Let's go ahead and clarify the devil in reverse. Why is the devil in reverse? Why is the devil in reverse? Seven of swords and a queen of coins. This is something to do with money. Somebody's tactics is not working when it comes to this. Somebody's tactics is just simply not working. Somebody try to be sneaky about the way they was handling things or trying to manipulate situations and a plot against somebody right here. Against their finances, something to do with financial stability. Somebody was trying to plot against that, but their tactics is not working because the energy is in reverse. It's, it's backfiring. 
somebody could be secretly watching them, Scorpio. Somebody could be secretly doing something to them. I'm not really picking up that energy though, but but this is definitely detached. Something is all these cards are in reverse. Yeah, this is some form of magic here. It's in reverse. And this is why this individual is emotionally unstable. This is why they could be missing out on a job and losing opportunities right here. While somebody is stable. Somebody continuously is succeeding and moving forward. And it's out the five of coins energy in reverse. And it's because something is majorly backfiring to somebody's reality. And if it hasn't done it yet, it will be happening. It will be happening. It's some serious shit. No wonder you don't see them the same way, Scott, with the Six of Cups in reverse. But they want to communicate about something. Yeah, without having conflict, without fighting. Yeah, they, yeah, they was discreet, uh, discreetly try. They was discreetly trying to strategize and plot against somebody's finances and this devilish energy. But it's in reverse. Whatever, whatever they was doing will be backfiring. It will be reversed. Somebody's going to continuously move forward in their finances. King of Coins upright, Five of Pentacles in reverse. While wow, somebody's going to be struggling big time. That could be what they want to talk to you about, Scarby. They could be struggling. But they're just insecure right now. Like they're too insecure to talk to you. Because they're unstable. They're very emotionally unstable is what I'm getting. They're very weighed down and tired. They're very drained. But they did it. They did it to themselves. They did it to themselves. This is about lacking the confidence. Lacking the courage to approach you. They're waiting, Scorpio. They're watching you at a distance. So the vigil's watching you at a distance. Yeah, it's a lot of watching energy. And if you look at these wands, you see this, this type of air balloon, right? I call it air balloons. I don't know if that's what that is. You know who's rising in this ship? This is your foundation. They're looking at that while being left with absolutely nothing. That's the ultimate thing. Damn, damn, damn. That's the ultimate thing. You ignore the spirit world. You ignore the spirit messages. You, you ignore the warnings. That's what could happen. Somebody's left with nothing. But just sticks right here. While somebody has it all. They see somebody having it all right here. Having it made in the fucking shade. Sun shining on this and everything. While they're sitting there looking at it. And they're wondering why everything is failing. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. Boomerang. All of these is in reverse. That is a powerful message. As I say, reversals mean reversed. And the reverse, the reversals that's happening, what's happening behind the reversals deep beneath the surface is somebody is going to lose a job or they have lost a job and they're struggling very, very much with financial stability and, and people could be treating them unfairly, not giving them anything. They could be end up becoming poor. While they're looking at somebody right here, have everything. That's the empire. Every t everything they try to do to bring this empire down for somebody else, for them to struggle financially, they're now in this position watching this person. They have nothing. Or they will have nothing. There's a lot of fearful energy here. There's a lot of scared energy here. There's definitely a lot of fears. This is exactly why you don't see this individual the same way because you found out what they was doing behind the scenes. They were strategizing on your finances. But the devil was there in reverse. The devil was clarified. The devil in reverse was clarified by the Queen of Coins upright and the Seven of Swords. 
It's like somebody already knew this sneakiness behavior right here. Somebody was already paying attention and knew what was going on. And they could have protected themselves. Somebody could have instantly protected themselves and they knew what was going on right here, which is why it's in reverse. So somebody will continuously be stable. Somebody will continuously outsmart this individual, whoever this is. Somebody has been outsmarted. I don't know who this is, Scarpa, but somebody has definitely been outsmarted. And they, it's like they feel that. That's why they feel a lack of confidence, lack of courage. There's definitely a lot of insecurities here. This, this individual right here is emotionally unstable. Very insecure. That's why they're not talking to you. But they think about it all the time. They think about talking to you all the time. They're just an emotional wreck right now. Like their mentality is wrecked over big time. Hmm. How does Scorpio feel about this individual? Five of Cups right here, regretful. Could be very regretful. Why is the Five of Cups here? For how Scorpio uh, feels. Chariot in reverse and the tower in reverse. You feel like things wasn't going anywhere with this individual. Or you can also feel like you don't want to move towards this individual because you already know it's going to create a tower moment. Yeah, you're avoiding a disaster, Scorpio. You're avoiding a disaster. Right here, this could be with a Cantor or a Scorpio. But I'm getting that this is this individual's energy because they're the ones that's the emotional wreck right here with the Five of Cups crying and everything. And they can't move on, but they, they want to reconcile at the same time, but they don't want to cause a disaster. I'm getting that this is this individual's energy because they're the ones that's emotionally unstable and not confident. Because you had the Six of Swords just right there again in reverse. They could be drinking a lot too. This individual could be drinking a lot. That's more money right there that's being wasted. Yeah, things have definitely came down hard, Scorpio. Things have definitely came down hard because you got the tower in reverse with the chariot in reverse. It's all backfiring energy. This is reversals. Clarifying this five of cups. This is this individual's energy. Are they regretting it because they really feel bad about it? Are they regretting it because it's backfiring on them? Or are they regretting it because they got caught? There's a lot of scenarios to question here. Are they regretful because it didn't work on you? Are they regretful because it backfired to them? Because if they're regretful because of it backfiring to their reality or will be backfiring to their reality then they simply don't care. That's selfish in itself to, to regret that it that it came back to them and they're not sorry for doing it to you. Like, I should have never did that to Scorpio. I shouldn't have never did that to them. What was I thinking? Not thinking about, oh, it can't they come back tomorrow, now I'm struggling. This could also be an eye opener for somebody. This could be an eye opener for somebody, or it will be an eye opener for somebody. A definite eye opener. If somebody's not struggling now, they will be. They will be talking to you about this eight of coins in reverse, six of coins in reverse, and the four of coins in reverse. Somebody will be speaking up about it. Somebody's definitely going through it, Scorpio. I'm getting the sense that it's either happening now or will be happening. While somebody remains stable. With the king of coins upright. 
somebody knows that they can't talk to you because of what they're going through. They're very insecure, very unstable, and they could be losing a lot of things. You have nothing right here by this person. Nothing. What are looking out to the, the distance at this right here. And this is this individual. Having everything they always ever wanted. And I'm going to tell you how the individual got it. Not by manipulating energies, but manifestation in a proper form. They're not involved in the dark side. Person worked their ass off. This king of coins right here worked his ass off. or worked her ass off to get where they're at. They did a lot of fucking work. A lot of work. They put in a lot of work. They was very determined. Very, very determined to get where they're at. And it didn't come through manipulation of energies or trying to steal someone else's success or try to drain someone else's banking account or doing something along those lines to interfere with somebody else's finances. That is dark energy. That is manipulation and it's demonic. And it would definitely backfire. And that's exactly, if it hasn't happened yet, it will be happening. Karma's real. It's here. And this same individual is going to be talking to you about it one day. When they're in that energy. It could be happening now. The three of wands right here. You got the emperor in reverse. King of wands in reverse. Not confident enough to approach you, but they sit back and they watch somebody build their empire in the background and watching the sunlight shine on it. And you know why they watch? Because the page of wands is in reverse. It's all about the silent stalking car. It's exactly what's going on. And they want to come out the cold or they deep down want to come out the cold. They just don't know how because they're very mentally unstable. They think about you all the time, very emotional. They're very emotional over you. They're still attracted to you sexually, very passionately and sexually attracted to you. And they do want to talk to you. And they feel very regretful, Scorpio, with the Five of Cups right here. The chariot and the tower. Like something is coming full force back to somebody. Somebody could be experiencing car trouble too. You got the tower and the chariot. Burn up engine. Get burn up engine. Something could go out. Or it has went out. But this is all while doing this, this type of energy right here. Trying to interfere with somebody else. This is the effects that it's going to bring. It's called karma. Somebody's going to be talking to you one day. At how much their life sucks. Because of what they tried to do to you. And they're going to want to work with you instead of go against you. They're going to want to work with you is what I'm getting, Scott. They're going to want to work with you. This is a lesson that had to be taught. This is definitely a lesson that had to be taught. Let's go ahead and flip over another card. Yeah, faith in reverse. This individual lacks the faith. They lack a lot of confidence. They lack the faith. They're not connected with the spiritual side, man. That's that's the faith card in reverse. This is all about being connected with God and the angels. They're not connected with that side. And the side that they was working with has brought them traumatic. I'm talking about enormous amount of, how can I say this? Excrucial, excruciating. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Excruciating karma. Just from being in that side because you got all reversals. Somebody secretly knows they was doing it too. The Seven of Swords and the Queen. Somebody's still uh, strategizing. But that devil is in reverse. This right here is reversals.
But that's what I have, Scorpio, for the read, okay? They're internally struggling right now, but they're not just internally struggling. They could be financially struggling right now. They could be struggling with their car, something to do with their car, their vehicle. They could be struggling with their vehicle a lot, something to do with their vehicle. They could be struggling with losing a home, not being able to pay their notes on their home or, or something to do with the, the rent or something like that, their rent their own home or something to do with that. Their lights could be getting cut off. It's backfiring. It's definitely backfiring or it will be backfiring. And somebody's going to be sitting here wondering how the hell this person is still succeeding. They're succeeding because they are actually doing the right thing. They wasn't in this energy to succeed and to raise up like that, to rise up. This energy will bring you nothing but chaotic failure. 100,000%. And it's right here in the cards. Somebody will be losing money if they haven't yet. Looks like somebody lost money. People are treating them very unfairly. Have no charity. Nobody wants to help them out. That's another thing that's coming through to me, Scorpio. Their family or friends don't want to help them out. Lack of charity. Lack of work. And lack of money. All while they're sitting here watching somebody build enormously, stable, whatever with nothing. This is the result of what dark magic can do to somebody's reality, never the other person's. Pay attention. And the reason why I know it's dark magic because you got all the, magi all the magic cards here in reverse. And it's being reversed. The devil reversed, the moon reversed, the magician reversed. Dark magic on somebody's finances. But it's not on their finances. Everything that they were speaking on somebody's finances, they were speaking on themselves because it's been reversed. So somebody's scared, they ought to be scared. Ain't, ain't no amount of fear could pull them out with karma's about to head their way off. It's not heading their way already. It's if they're not going through it already. They ain't for a rude awakening. Well, I've just seen in those cards. I'm telling you that right now. But anyway, Scorpio, this was y'all video. Y'all take it easy out there. If y'all want to leave a donation, I'm going to have a link in the description box below if y'all felt like this really resonated with your situation, Scorp. Uh, But that's all I have for y'all, all right? So uh, good luck to y'all, Scorp. Much love out there. Peace out. Thank y'all very much for y'all love and support. Later.